Did you know that less than a third of all children's books depict non-white characters or storylines from minority or un underrepresented populations? In an effort to actually change that, a new initiative is being launched in D.C. I spoke with Jordy Hutchinson with Everybody Wins D.C. to learn more. Jordy, it's great to see you again and get to catch up. I love what we're talking about today, trying to bring a variety of children's books to this area. You're saying that there's not many books that show diversity for children? That's true. Right now, less than 30% of all children's books depict non-white storylines or lead characters. Wow. Okay, so I know you guys are doing a few things to uh, combat this. What is one of the first ones? Well, Everybody Wins DC a few years ago realized that many of the students we serve don't have regular access to new and engaging reading materials. So we lost, launched the Book Project, which is a community distribution effort to get books into children's hands directly into their homes. But we knew that wasn't enough. And especially this year with bookstores closed, libraries closed, kids weren't getting the support they needed through books. And they weren't seeing themselves represented on the page. When kids can't relate to the, to the lead characters, when they don't see their stories in print, they don't feel valued, they don't feel respected, they don't feel seen. And so we're trying to change that. And in partnership with Little Free Library and the Read in Color Initiative, we're doing just that by placing 21 book sharing boxes across the city and filling them with thousands of books that really highlight and celebrate diverse voices. You mentioned Read in Color. So is that what Read in Color is, is this entire project? It is, is a nationwide effort. Uh, the Little Free Library organization is partnering with organizations like us, and we are the lead here in DC. Cities across the country, Boston, Tulsa, New York, are all participating in this effort. And we are taking the lead to get those 21 boxes out in DC. And four, or four boxes are going in soon, right? Of the book sharing boxes? Yes, the first four are actually already in the ground. Wow. So we kickoff at Centronia last week with a, with a wonderful group of students who were so excited to cut the ribbon and get their first book. We also have a book sharing box at Plaza West, which is where grandparents are raising their grandchildren. Hmm. We have one at a DC Housing Authority property and one at an elementary school. And is this different from when you're walking down the street? I always see those, like the free little libraries where you can kind of take a book, leave a book. Is this different from that? It's not, it's exactly what that is. It's just that we're making a concerted effort to fill those boxes with books that really do highlight different perspectives and voices. Okay, excellent. And maybe more, more children's books? More children's books. Okay, all right. I always see the other ones with a lot of adult books. I always stop to browse as well. <laughs> it's a great program. There are, and you know what? That's the beauty of this project. While we're focusing on getting these book sharing boxes in the ground and filling them with these diverse children's books, they're a resource for the whole community. Yes. Adult books, books that highlight different learning skills such as self-help and other items can also be placed in the books to support community members. Awesome. Well, Jordy, thank you for the work that you're doing here in D.C. to help get those books in the hands of children, especially so they see themselves. I know that's important. It is, and we're just honored to be part of this effort and can't wait to get all 21 boxes in the ground. Jordy also shared with me that they are looking for supporters. So if you are interested in being a steward or maybe a sponsor for the Read in Color initiative, you can visit everybodywinsdc.org to see how you can help.